Welcome to game. Hey guys, and welcome to Solo GT Live Time. Whoa! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am alone on the couch. Just like uh, the FNAF VR streams that we were doing not too long ago. Um, because Stephanie's out of town. She's been doing a lot of traveling back and forth to North Carolina uh, to visit her parents, take care of some business that uh, she has out there. Uh, which has meant a couple more solo live streams for me. Except they're not solo because you're here, which is great. Keeping me company. As well as Chris, That's which is, you know, Chris is here. I, yeah, yes. So take that for whatever that means. Honestly. <laughs> well, fine. What? I'm gonna take it as a lovely little detail. Like, a, like at least you at least count as like a half person. There right? you go. Yeah, you're tall, so that's like a lot of physical human at least. Yeah, take up the space of a whole, but worth a half. <laughs> but I don't know about the personality. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I kid because I love. Chris is great. <laughs> um, so hey, earlier this week, we did T-Series. Earlier this week, we finalized uh, the, the, or we finally got the official ending to Kindergarten 2. So we're kind of cleared, we've cleared the decks, which is exciting, right? We're kind of in that period where it's like, hey, we're looking for new stuff to play. What should we cover on the live stream? And I don't know if uh, many of you are familiar with this website. But uh, before YouTube and gaming was really as huge of a thing as it, as it is today, uh, I religiously followed, I still do to this day, I religiously followed the website Escapist Magazine. Um, Escapist was one of the go-to places for online video content about video games, right? And it was really held down by uh, Movie Bob, who did movie reviews. You had uh, the Extra Credits team, who are still uh, doing their own thing on YouTube at this point, who originally were the inspiration for Game Theory as a series. Uh, and Zero Punctuation, uh, hosted by Yahtzee, uh, one of like the the earliest and honestly one of the most influential like gaming review web series out there, right? Where he's snarky, he's Australian. Um, and he just like rips games to shreds in really funny, really crass ways. Uh, it was great. Uh, and I still, to this day, like, like I said, still go to Escapist Magazine. It went through a couple years where it kind of like disappeared and changed ownership and this and that, but it's back. Uh, and so I've been, you know, following their videos constantly. And one of the ones that Yahtzee on uh, Zero Punctuation reviewed that sounded interesting was the game that we're playing today. It's called Horus. Uh, I haven't seen anything online about this one really. Uh, this one is, as far as I'm concerned, has really slipped under the radar. Uh, has anyone played this really? Uh, like any, any like major big. players on YouTube? Yeah, nobody big has played it. Only a few people who just like wanted to show a walkthrough. Like a walkthrough play? So there's been a couple like walkthrough playthroughs of it, but that's, cause like I, I did a quick YouTube search of it. And I haven't seen much of anything. Uh, but according to the reviews, right? This is a very cool, very innov innovative, very story-driven platformer uh, that has really compelling characters, really interesting gameplay dynamics, um, and just it was kind of a passion project uh, by the creator, right? So that's what I wanna do today, right? We're in this middle ground, I'm alone on the couch, I have Chris on the sidelines, and I just wanna play a game that sounded really cool that I was really curious to explore. Uh, and so that's what brings us to Horus today. You guys know that I love platformers. You guys know that I uh, adore any game with challenge. And as I understand it, that is what this game is. It is, excuse me, it is challenging. It is a platformer. Uh, it's got cool mechanics and it's got a cool story. So what more could you ask for, friends? I have high hopes. We'll see. I haven't, outside of the reviews, I haven't done a whole lot of research on it. Chris, what? When I like kind of first brought this up to you, I had Chris research it because, like you guys know, we try to stay blind going into most games on the live stream. What do you know about this? Like, how did it look? It's it's a really interesting game. There's a lot more narrative to it than I initially expected. Okay. Uh, the beginning definitely has a lot of like narration going on. Okay. And then you kind of get into the platformy elements. There's more the game the game aspect increases more and more as you play. The it's, deeper and deeper you get into it. Yeah, it's a, it's really, it's like simultaneously heartfelt, but also 
kind of sad. It's like Ooh, sad. It kind of questions like humanity and whether or not we're we're a good thing and stuff like that. Wow! Oh, wow! <laughs> Man, sadness and questioning your own humanity and whether or not humanity should be wiped from existence. That is. What we those are really the core emotions that we go for here on GT Live, honestly. <laughs> hopefully, like, some child death will will. I mean, oh man, out. hopefully the fingers get. Then you've really hit like the Yahtzee of <laughs> of GT Live programming, <laughs> existential crisis, sadness, child death. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are excited for a live stream featuring those emotions and thoughts, get ready, strap in for <laughs> Horus. Apparently, um. So without any further ado, let's play this thing. Uh, since I'll be playing, obviously I don't have uh, access to the computer, but Chris is over there uh, where you can talk to him and by proxy me via hashtag GT Live, where this is our protagonist, I believe. Yeah, that is Horace. Okay, and that's on Twitter or in the chat because you know that that's how the internet works. Where people are saying things like nugget or hi or, well, you're not late this time, so good job. See, what does that tell you, friends? <laughs> Man, someone had their microphone on, the live stream started on time. Hmm, what's the difference? What could the variable be? <laughs> So anyway, uh, no shade at Steph. Uh, she just landed in North Carolina. I was texting her before the stream. Uh, had a good flight, so I hope she's doing a good job there. Uh, anyway, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's kick it off with Horus. Let's see what this thing's all about and see if what has been hyped as potentially the best indie game of 2019 uh, holds up to kind of the reputation I've seen circulating around online. Start game. Junk. Playtime and junk. All right, <laughs> great. It's a game full of junk. Oh, classic 1990X. So we're going back in time. I love the retro pixel aesthetic. Oh, they're building me. We'll build him faster, stronger. I look like a Lego man. You look kind of like a Lego baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the special. Man. Well, what? Watch where you're branding me here, guys. He's the special. Oh, they're dialing me into the internet. Classic. It's weird to think that that's no longer like a relevant sound when it comes to the internet. Like, I've never really stopped to think about that, but just one day, you stopped hearing those, like, dial-up sounds. It's great. That's true. Right? Man. That's something that no one missed. Horus, Man 2.0. Oh, here we go. Existential crisis. Already proving the case for why men should be replaced. Drop in my box. Come on, guys. <laughs> Jeez. It's a beautiful R sunset. Right? Look at this. This is intense. This is already, like, a lot of, like, sprite work. Oh man, smoking. Smoking's bad for you. See, again. You can tell- you can tell he's probably evil because he's smoking. I feel like at this point, most places have either gotten rid of smoking- Like, wasn't there a big petition going around to get- movies and like Netflix to stop showing characters smoking. I think Netflix has agreed to like to do stop it. showing people smoking. Right, I know that there was a big to do about that where like a lot of the anti-smoking uh, groups were trying to just like, hey, media outlets, stop doing this because it's encouraging people to, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this. This is adorable. <laughs> this is also unbelievable. This is me learning to walk, I hope, and not a... Uh, Necessarily, my run speed for the rest of the game. <laughs> and so, I was born. Nailed it! The first people I remember seeing Burn. were the old man, the old lady, and their daughter, Heather. This is how you After save money on voice hello, actors. The old man powered me down so he could install some software. Ooh, the last ninja. I could tell they were nice people. The old man didn't give me a silly voice or stupid personality. He, they gave you a butler voice, though, so like I don't know. 
<laughs> Come give me Stephen Hawking. Heather really didn't like me. Once I'd had time to get used to walking, the old man asked me to dash from one end of the room to the other. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's... Okay, you can jump. Alright, no problem. Drop down. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Squeaky, squeaky. Aww. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really. I'm just kind of into his weird little tubby running body. <laughs> right? It's it's really charming, actually. It's really cute. Look, even Naruto runs. Watch out, guys! I'm headed to uh, I'm headed to Area 51. Woo! Try and stop me, government. Can see those aliens. The man spent a couple of hours <laughs> building some wooden platforms. He said he wanted me to jump up them, but I must admit, I was scared. It wasn't until I saw Heather and her mother happily climbing up them that I decided it might be okay. His voice is adorable. Uh, okay. So if the human can do it, I can do it too. There you go. Nice. Great. Yeah, he spent hours building these platforms. They look more like boxes. Come on, man. Oh, Josephine Castillo wants you to uh, microwave the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we'll we'll see. Maybe this game will offer me the opportunity the to microwave man a cat. Rearrange the platforms. He told me to try to reach the other end of the room without touching the floor. Heather said the floor's made of lava. But when I smiled at her, she just frowned and looked away. Whoa! <laughs> oh man! And <laughs> she said it was in case I fell, run. but I think she just wanted it to look more like lava. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Floor's lava challenge, guys. Here we go. All right. Woo! Don't touch the floor. Oh, while you're platforming, we have a correction in the chat from Prince Dorado about the Netflix cigarette thing. Apparently, oh, yeah. Netflix said they'd pull back on smoking after people complained, but they're still going to have some of that imagery. Also, the Prince Dorado points out they have a ton of graphic imagery throughout their shows already, so. Well, they have yeah. graphic imagery, but like that's, when which I is which is kind of the side, like, the old man weird twist of the whole thing. People are like, you can show smoking, but yeah, now. there's lots of other graphical, graphic stuff going on. Right, but you can show decapitation. Yeah, I mean that's that's the same <laughs> thing in like the U.S. as the like ratings board. Wait, uh, begin, be bold, and venture to be wise. Okay, learning to walk. Um, I feel like I've already done that. I also learned to jump and also jump across lava pits, so doing pretty good. You're a superstar, really. <laughs> but, um, but no, the, that's always the thing that you hear here in the U.S., right, with the, like, movies rating boards, where it's like, they'll show, like, people getting decapitated and blown away and all this, you know, violent imagery, but when it comes to, like, sexual lessons, imagery, it's always like, oh no. So I think, and I was same thing with, like, smoking. Else. Like, how do you, oh the no, we're offended by this. The old man's brother. Okay. He was very quiet right. and always seemed to just kind of stare at me. He had lived with the old man for five years. The house was so huge they barely saw each other. He preferred instead to stay in his room, leaving everything up to his butler, Mr. Deck. As he insisted everyone call him. This, the this guy is probably also a villain. Him and on. Look at For him. It's while, always the butler. The butler done it. But the old man made him stop, as he thought it sounded racist. <laughs> oh no! Mr. Silton was the old man's driver. <laughs> Before he worked here, he'd gotten in with some bad people. Oh, see, he called it. Driver in the post office <laughs> robbery, although it all went wrong for some reason. Yeah, Stilton. Mr. Stilton. Stilton showed me a video of his band. I'm sure some people must like it, but I just found it terrifying. <laughs> so he's a criminal and has like a mediocre rock band. Cool. Then there was Alice. She was the cook. She was a nice old lady. When she was younger, she had been a TV chef. That's then, adorable. Then, years later, she had a small part in Coronation Street. Mr. Silton said, before she worked for the old man, Alice was quite a hoarder. Wow. She kept old newspapers and bicycles. And something about a poo in a shoebox. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this some the sort of British morning, joke that I'm not getting? Together. She yeah, kept poo, poo, poo in a shoebox. <laughs> what else does he do? Excuse me? Mr. Silton. Uh, what? The old man smiled. He can help around the house. Okay. Could he help me with my newspaper collecting? Asked Alice. 
I'm not sure that's a good idea. Senor I'll help you with the lady, newspaper collecting. He can do all sorts I ain't of touching jobs. your poo in a shoebox, yeah, though. Said Mr. Silton. Keep that poo, poo box out of here. He can do dex job. Now, hmm. now, said the old man. We have company, pointing to some important-looking people. Oh. Two large men, both called Gary, <laughs> set up what the oh, old man oh, referred dear. to as lasers. He said again, I should try to get from one end of the room to the other, but I shouldn't be worried, as I had a special chip which meant no matter how damaged I was, I couldn't die. Huh. He said it was like infinite lies in a video game. <laughs> Almost! But when he realized I didn't understand, he said he would explain another time. Alright, there you go. Infinite lives. Is there anything to the left? No, okay. I was just curious. Can't go in the door? Nope. Right. Just wonder if there any Easter eggs. So clearly the two get. So clearly the, uh, the Garys here are like, what, investors or like mobsters or Oh no! Shoot. Alright. Well, it showed that that worked. Go. No need to rush. Thank you, thank you. Except the important looking men. Wow. Mark. Not exactly a cold calculated killer, is it? Said the man in black. The <laughs> man in black. Set up laughed. lasers and told what me kind to jump of through them. intelligence was that? He asked. Move right, unless there's something in the way. I okay, moved left okay, a little bit, said too. the old man. He turned to me and whispered, they're going to make it quite a bit tougher, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Bring it. I will jump and dodge with the best of them. Oh. Look, I can dock too. That's how advanced my AI is. What you got? Nothing over there. Great. Like this. You're gonna be so impressed with me. I don't know how this is gonna prove my killer instinct or whatever they were interested in, but you know. Sure. Great. Prove I me. Look at that robot, I think. Killer. The the right? <laughs> nothing nothing like a robot in a suit and tie butler smiled. outfit. Now, <laughs> it says, there's no this is the next Terminator for us. Throw a bowler I'm hat happy on with him. Everything you've done today. So this From time, the makers of I Terminator. To do him Horus. <laughs> Great. Uh, okay. I like that they're still telling me what the, the controls here are. Still up, down, left, right. Just in case, you still need that. <laughs> Woo! Uh oh. Need that. Okay, so you're bouncing between the two posts right now, okay. Not bad. Woo! That's one small step for man, one giant leap for horse. Over spikes. Jump. Woo! Yeah! Got him! The old man's friends actually seemed quite happy when I made it through. <laughs> They're like, ah, yes! A winner, after all. You Said are a killer! Black, it's no kill by 3000, <laughs> but you can almost see the fire in its eyes. <laughs> yeah! A couple of days Doing later, a bunch of half the old jumps. lady said she Proves had it. a surprise for <laughs> me. My own room. She Please. also wanted to play me some music. I wasn't sure after what Mr. Silton had shown me. Glade Dog, consider yourself noticed, and Floof Swarm wants to be noticed, Senpai. You, you have been noticed. Sorry, I'm just watching my robot rock out to his. As if music wasn't sentence. amazing enough, the old Very lady then bought me a television set. <laughs> I could just need some strawberries and stuff I floating around. Everything I could. <laughs> Comedy, drama. Oh man, he's addicted to TV so now. I, anything anyone wanted to watch, I would happily watch with This them. is like Oliver. If you give him a little then bit of screen day, time, he just fixates and that's why you're like, nope. Up a small box. He plugged wow. some cables it's, into it's the nuts. television and said, This is what I meant when I said video games. Oh, when you get, let me play. <laughs> really? I played games at every chance I could. Oh man. I took on everyone. I was unstoppable. I became a Fortnite I streamer. Music, film, I got an television. exclusive deal on Works Mixer. Me, video games really were the highest art form. <laughs> <laughs> that is an objective fact coming from me, a video game character.
Ooh, table tennis for two. Here we go. Okay, I get to play Pong. Oh, okay, so we've suddenly switched into Pong land. Cool. Get wrecked, old man! You ain't got none! Oh, uh, what a loser. <laughs> right? <laughs> the AI's coming for ya! You've been replaced! This is probably the hardest level in the game. Yeah! Your robot overlords are coming at ya! What you got? Yes. Heather's birthday was a Thank couple you. of months Thank later. <laughs> her mom I like and dad had bought her a camera and arranged a day up by the sea so that Heather could take some photos. Although I really don't think she wanted any pictures of me. Ooh, cold. When the old man asked the professor if he wanted to go, he frowned and said, I can't believe you want to spend time with that thing. It could destroy the world. I wasn't man, sure what he Man, people give me meant, a lot of credit. The old man just smiled and said, That's what you said about the Game Boy. Anton, how about you? Curse, it's green so. and darker said green Mr. screen. Deck, the last time I got in that car, Barry crashed us into a branch at Woolworths. I never would have gone into Woolworths of my own accord. The old man explained that the car was old and the brakes had failed, but Mr. Deck was having none of it. So Mr. Silton drove, and Alice came along for the fresh air. So we're just looking past this guy's past history as like a criminal getaway driver. Like, that's totally fine. I enjoyed yeah, being cool. outside. All right, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Although, the old lady kept telling me to be careful of the rickety old walkways. It felt like she was telling me off, but I think she was just concerned. Jordan Robinson, Jordan Robinson says Game Boy is evil confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Evil incarnate, the, the Game Boy. <laughs> it's gonna ruin the world. In the distance. I wasn't sure what it was. So An now awesome the dude man. Eli says, "I just he joined. It was a what is this game?" That had sunk in the 1940s. This is Horus. And we just so started, so you're gonna find out. War. Clearly, there's. <laughs> you weren't joking when you said there's a lot of cutscenes. <laughs> I yeah, like the first happened, chapter is mostly but the metal platform Heather was climbing on had collapsed. It's called story storytelling. She was safe, even if the rocks she was on looked very dangerous. The tide was rising, and we didn't know how long the coast guard was going to be. So I offered to climb down and get her. The old man agreed, but said I should be careful, as Heather doesn't have infinite lives like I do. <laughs> really, I have infinite lives even when I'm like out and away from oh ooh, those fall away even when i'm out and away from the laboratory that's good to know great okay here we go bada bing bada boom Woo, i'm coming for you little girl who hates me i will save your life and prove that robots aren't to be scared of but also not to be trifled with oh oh, oh geez <laughs> random electrical wire that's fine it's totally cool heather was unconscious nailed it was broken <laughs> So I picked her up as Jeff. This feels like a Metal Gear game. I you do like a little bit of gameplay and then sit back. Run the rest of the watch play. the movie length cutscene. Mm. Okay. Oh, jeez. Whoops. I killed her. Apparently, I can't run as fast because she is heavy. I was anticipating a different momentum as I took off running. That did not happen. Okay, here we go. So sorry, small child. Apparently you do have infinite lives like I do. Thank goodness. <laughs> that would have been a very sad and tragic story. That would be really funny if you like died coming back and she's just dead and right? you just have to return with her body. Right? And it's and it's one of those and it's one of those games that like that affects and the ending that you get. By the oh. time I had made it Next back time. to the cliff. Next time. Next time, the Horace. Next Horace too. Sure was okay and then took her off to hospital. A few days later we all went to see how she was doing. She was fine. Did I win over her trust? I would have to wear the cast for a couple of months. Yeah! Pixelated smile achieved. We're friends now. I like that. Oh, robot saves local girl. Mechanical man to the right. Are you thinking too much? 
Smaller font illegible expert study reveals. I, I like the smaller headlines on those newspapers. All the hidden Easter eggs. For all the hidden secret lore here. Bet one of them's about an animatronic franchise where a bunch of kids got murdered. This is part of the connected universe. Oh, that would be awesome. What a twist that would be. The butler was right. He is out to destroy the world. <laughs> Once Heather got to know me, we became good friends. We enjoyed the same films and TV. She was also annoyingly good at some of my favorite games. Oh, bring it on. After a while, Let's she sure became we are. very interested in how I worked. Soon she knew as much about me as the old man did. Oh, hey. not more. Watch where you're taking pictures. You can take them, you just can't post them online, guys. That's sensitive. Those are some sensitive photos. We spent the next couple of months visiting other countries. As when it came to teaching me things, the old man always liked to pick interesting locations. This is wild. He had explained the basics of mathematics to me at the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Man. Taught me history in the dead of night, surrounded by mysterious giant stones. Man, this guy is and super rich. Yeah, <laughs> like... In a hot air balloon. Oh, don't mind me, dropping apples and bowling balls on I my Rolls Royce. Got to teach my restaurant. robot the elements of physics. Nice. But it seemed very somber compared to the previous grand locations. He said he just wanted to chat, and this was nice and quiet. Plus, it was his favorite place to eat. We talked about life, the universe, Douglas Adams. <laughs> Douglas Adams. Really. Okay. When I asked him, why were we here? Why did we exist? Oh, here we go. He just smiled and said, Life is like a game. Just don't expect to be finished anytime soon. When I looked puzzled, he said, Well, everyone should have a purpose. So I asked him, What's my purpose? He thought for a bit, then said, So you want to be a real boy? Which just confused me even more. Eventually the old man said, For now, I want you to help clean things around the house. I must have that's the, that's correct, my real purpose. As he then said, <laughs> he's like, I taught you physics. I want you to clean, so that way you can clean up my junk. Things. It didn't sound like the meaning of life. I want you to clean one. But million. I suppose you've got to start somewhere. All right. I took you to Egypt, so that way you can start your quest to clean one million things. A man can't have everything where we put it. Learning my purpose. The next day, the old man said he wanted to install some more software, so he powered me down. Great. We're when flying I through the story. To, he said Mr. Silton had a joke for me, and that I should pull his finger. So I ripped his arm off! I don't think I got the joke. So the old man powered me down again. <laughs> this time when I pulled Mr. Silton's finger, I got the joke. But it wasn't very funny. The old man then explained that he had installed a special chip which allowed me to clean away anything that was broken. He said it also tells me how many things are nearby. And how many smaller things are in a bigger thing. <laughs> okay. It all sounded very complicated. It does. It's just a said, trash well, pickup really thing, right? It was pause and it would bring up all the information I needed. He then said he wanted me to find and clean all of the items in the room. He told me there would be some chains to climb, but that would be nice and easy, oh, here as we go. I just had to press up. He then finished by saying, when I had collected all the items, I should come back here. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. Ooh. Hey. Oh yeah, clean up that garbage. Oh, this is like... Oh, I already- I'm already at a hundred junk! Yes! <laughs> Fifteen junk combo! c, -c, -c combo breaker! Master of trash! <laughs> we brought you into this- oh, oh, I want a big combo here. We're all about this big combo right here. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna clean one million things. Oh. Just- just picking up oil drums like nobody's business right now. Great. 
Whoops. Wow, I fall super fast. Okay. Jumping off stuff is a bit stiff. Ooh, Confusion Games says, first live stream. Can I get a clap and a half? You Huge can. fan. Would Please. love to talk FNAF. <gasps> okay, here we go. So Ooh, no! Okay. I like that there's relatively little distinction between the garbage that I'm collecting is, and the giant piles of paper boxes that litter, litter this guy's home. Another hundred junk. What is my purpose? <laughs> to that, to that effect, uh, T Zinch says you pass butter. <laughs> Oh, come on, I did not. Shoot, that was my bad. Oh no, I still gotta collect everything again? Oh no, it's open, huh. That was just weird. Sometimes the uh, startup momentum or like transitional momentum is a little bit weird, but for the most part, it's pretty good. But yeah, once you gain a little bit of momentum, you go pretty quickly. There we go, all junk! The old Nailed it. Then asked the old Hello, lady Achievement I unlocked. Him outside. I was happy too, as it was a lovely hot day. Ooh. The old man said he was worried that Alice had been hoarding again. Oh no! She had filled up a small barn with old bicycles and newspapers. Are you telling me that this is Ever an intervention said, for this Alice? Be a perfect chance to properly test my new powers. The old man thought for a second, then said, using the stepto chip, I should find and clean at least 300 things. When we explained to Alice what we wanted to do, she seemed scared. Yes, there was a whole reality a series dedicated to the interventions that. of orders. Well, the barn was starting to smell. She said it would be okay. Okay. One they say thing, that though, but when they the actually see man, the stuff disappearing into like my robot robot compaction system, when I was it's gonna be a different to story. The old barn, Mr. Silton said he had seen some mushrooms growing inside. He asked me to give him any that I found. He then winked, but I wasn't sure why. I liked the little guitar riff there. <laughs> oh. Okay, apparently I can't walk into water. Learn that now. Apparently that's the largest fountain known to mankind. So okay, cool, cool story. Right, I thought like, oh, maybe, maybe he just wants the mushrooms to cook, but oh no. So really, I'm cleaning up stuff, and also getting this man his drug fix. So this is an intervention on a lot of different fronts, honestly. Oh yeah, 20 junk combo, all about it. How many bikes did this woman need? I guess that's why she's a hoarder. True story. I uh, actually helped clean up a hoarder's house uh, at one point when I was in high school. Well. Uh, yeah, it was interesting. My mom, uh, as part of her bank, every every year they do this like uh, neighbors make the difference campaign, where they go like do a, a charitable project in some area. Um, what is this? This feels like some sort of reference that I'm not getting or an Easter egg or something. Um, but yeah, it was one of those things where every year they would do something, and so like one year it was like collecting money for like March of Dimes, uh, and so I would help out with kind of like some of the like phone calls and, and collection for that. Oh, there's those mushrooms, yeah. Um, there was another year that was uh, at a nursing home, but um, but one year was actually cleaning up uh, this woman in our hometown who had like who was a hoarder and had like was asking for help in, in, in dealing with her problem um, and it was just it was fascinating I'd never seen like at this and this was before like the TV shows were really like back then the, the idea of like hoarding a bunch of stuff and having kind of like your hallways literally filled with just like piles and piles of, of garbage and like the psychological kind of um Triggers or kind of like the psychological needs that those sorts of shoots, the psychological things that those sorts of things fulfill um, had, hadn't really been discussed, and so it was really like crazy, eye-opening uh, experience helping this woman out because it was literally her hallways, the hallways of her house were entirely filled in with. I assume this is everything. I guess. 
Okay. I, I mean, she had her hallways, right? But then, like, all along the hallways and all the rooms, she just collected newspapers and just, like, piles and piles of old newspapers, all different types of newspapers from just, like, literally decades before, you know, we had been in the house. And so... Even though she had full-size rooms and full-size hallways, you literally were, like, weaving your way through, like, a rat in a maze through these just hallways and, like, passageways constructed by just, like, piles of newspapers. It was unlike anything that I'd ever seen before. It was actually, like, she had, like, a, a psychological, uh, like, therapist advisor who was helping her, like, through the process and, like, saying yes and no to things. It was, it was really fascinating, but, um... But it was also just one of those things that at the end of the day, everything had been, or at least a huge chunk of stuff had been moved out of her house, and you could look back and see, like, that that wasn't a room before. That was literally a room filled with all these newspapers from, like, floor to ceiling. And now she had, like, space to move and stuff. It was, it was nuts, but, like, some of the things that they would, like, that she would attach to, like, an old broken down... Um, like, uh, like a child's, like, plastic seat was one of them, uh, and I, and I get, like, children's toys and stuff, like, why they would hold, like, a special memory and stuff, but it was, it was broken, it had been, like, filled with water, um, you know, hadn't obviously been used in, like, 20 plus years, but, like, that was one of the things that she was, and, you know, as part of, like, that healing process, they allow them to, like, keep certain things. Um, so a lot of the newspapers were able to go away and clear up a lot of that bulk, but there were a lot of still kind of like uh, emotional me mementos that she kept, but still it was like night and day. It was one of the most fascinating like days, and as someone who likes to clean a lot, it was a really satisfying day for me. It was like, oh, look at us using all this bulk <laughs> and cleaning out this stuff for this, this person's house. Like it was really satisfying, but it was just really, really interesting, and you could see like the difference it made in her life. It was wild. Anyway, sorry. Just cleaning up a uh, hoarder's junk made me think the about old that. The man was very happy <laughs> with everything that I, I had that cleaned. Long time. But I think Mr. Silton was even more happy with his mushrooms. Mm. Yeah, clearly. This guy's to be trusted. In a family with young children. Sure. The former criminal, now magic mushroom collector. Totally fine. Unless he just wants to be Super Mario, and those mushrooms are going to make him grow big. It wasn't the days getting shorter, or the evenings getting colder. It was the falling leaves that really made me feel sad. As we watched the trees blowing in the breeze, the old lady said, The leaves must fall before the blossom comes. She had already explained the seasons to me, so for once, I actually understood but it didn't make me feel any better. The old lady obviously heard enough of my moping, and said, Right, next week we're going to have a party. For some reason she insisted that we were all going to wear costumes. Heather was very excited and said, I've got some perfect ideas. No way. <laughs> this is the Halloween opening! Oh. Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is great. This took so much work. This is unbelievable. I am shocked by how elaborate this game is. I'm Charlie Brown. Oh, that's funny. It was terrifying. Everyone was dressed like someone else. I think I was meant to be some kind of pumpkin, as everyone kept shouting. It's the great it's pumpkin. The great pumpkin. Still. At least Mr. Silton was having fun telling everyone his joke. And I suppose Heather's costume was quite flattering. Is she going as Mia? Yeah, okay, I get After it. After what seemed like forever, everybody left, and things got back to normal. No, there's no missions during the Halloween Heather party? That would have been fun. To watch a scary uh, it was, it was just like a little cut. Okay, fine. <laughs> I had to help Alice Fair and Mr. Deck clean up. To get you, I wasn't happy about this. But the old man said if I was quick, then I could watch the end of the film with them. Oh! Oh, sign me up. That's what we're... Is this a timed mission? Alice was vacuuming, and Mr. Deck was taking down the decorations. Still so I thought I should clean up the plates and glasses. Great! Oh, what? Put me to work. Is there, is there a time limit? No? Maybe not? Okay, it's fine. I'll just imagine that there's a time limit. It's cool. What a... Ooh. 
There we go. What, um... The ear-splitting sound was the fire alarm. I wasn't done. As usual, Mr. Deck blames Mr. Silton. But I'm still working. Probably what? smoking one of his jazz cigarettes. <laughs> oh, those jazz cigarettes. But then the professor appeared. He said that there was something burning in the kitchen. Alice looked confused, saying that she hadn't cooked anything since the morning. We were all surprised when Mr. Deck opened the oven. And there was a dead body inside. Yes, nailed it. And a slightly burnt pair of men's underwear. Oh. Suddenly the old lady burst in. She looked terrified. She kept shouting, there's someone on the roof. When we went outside, it slowly became obvious that it was Mr. Silton. He was completely naked and playing his guitar. Oh, it's not completely naked. He shouted naked. down. When I finish this song, I'm going to fly. The old lady said, what? oh my god, I know this one. There's only about 30 seconds left. <laughs> the old man then quickly turned to me and said, you know what to do. I, I, I don't. Oh man. oh man, I've got I've got 30 seconds left. Okay. You wanted a time limit, right? And the time limit is the music. That's actually pretty cool. That's a very different way of doing things. I like that. Go 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 go. Ooh. Big jump, big jump. There we go. Let's do it. There you go. Oh hey! Oh come on! Surprise sparks! Get out of here! Go. Assuming this is the right way to do that. Good. Yes. Come on. Oh no, we're near. By the time I had made oh, it up to the nailed roof, it. Great. Mr. Silton was Clap and half to me. Woo! I tried to calm him down, but he so he's high on the mushrooms. Unusual. Right? Oh yeah, this is. Captain Obvious says, "Oh no, the mushrooms." This is not uh helping him. And he is getting... <laughs> <laughs> this is. This is... <laughs> Buddy, you might want to back off. You might cause him to leap off the building. <laughs> Robot saves local. Not as important. Are you thinking too much? Smaller phone illegible still. After an hour or so, Mr. Silton was fine. Great. He said he had eaten some bad magic mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, Bartholomew no worries. I wondered why he hadn't doubled in size. Ah, there it is. Still, There's that Mario reference. I'm joking with the paramedics. <laughs> One of them said he looked like the world's worst clown. Yeah, I that's don't a... think Mr. Silton liked that. No, you probably so shouldn't he make fun of people joke, who but were just, just made the other on a rooftop call him saying they're going to awesome. throw themselves off. I don't think he liked that either, but at least he was still in one piece. Yeah, hey, I'm the paramedic. I'm here to help you. Excuse me, what? A month or so later, Heather and I were playing video games. Oh, I played the old the man game. said he wanted me to come okay. outside. He said it had been a year since I had arrived, so he had a present for me. Noosh. Oh, he teddy bear! Teddy bear. Were you gonna? Did you say new suit? He then told no, the box me said new shoes. Oh, new. <laughs> but it was spelled weird. New clothes. I have a present for you. New clothes. Oh, I gotta get my teddy bear. So you give me the try as I might. I couldn't reach the teddy bear. However, I still don't understand what happened next. Oh no, is he dying? Oh no! Wow. Oh no! Oh jeez. Man, Horace comes at you hard and fast. One minute you're a giant robot attacking a man high on magic mushrooms. The next minute your owner is having a heart attack and dying. Wow. This is intense. This game saw like Pinocchio, or this game saw like Mario games. They're like, you know, the level of story in Mario games, let's do the opposite of that. <laughs> Let's let's do that, except not. I'd love to see a Mario game with this amount of story, though. <laughs> and then Bowser came and picked up Princess Peach, <laughs> flew away to his castle in the sky. Put me down, she said. <laughs> but he did not. But he did not. 
Luigi came up behind me and said, Brother, I would like to join you on your quest. Then he bent sideways with his butt facing out and said, Ooh? <laughs> classic Luigi pose. <laughs> Cla classic, <laughs> classic Luigi bending over with his butt out. <laughs> Uh, this is a serious moment. We need to be sad. Chris, stop talking about Luigi with his butt out. Okay? I'm sorry. Look, I've shut I'm, down. I know this channel has had a lot with Luigi and his parts, and it hasn't always fared well. Aww. I just, you know, when I think about... Oh, man, they're smacking me down. Wait, they killed me too? What? They killed me too? Oh. It's just weird. Not talking about the game right now. I'm thinking, it's just weird that Chris's first instinct when he thinks about Luigi is Luigi with his butt out. Well, like I, that is not the immediate pose that I think of when I think of Luigi. Just saying. My my main game nowadays has been Smash, so when I think of every character, I think of their Smash pose, and that is Luigi's Smash Bros pose. Fair enough. <laughs> Shoot. If I had gotten the teddy bear, would he have not died? Probably not, right? Was I supposed to have gotten that teddy bear? I'm really sad that I didn't get this teddy bear now. I feel like I've let someone down. I gave up too quickly. I didn't think it would start a cutscene where my owner died. I've made a horrible mistake! What was I doing? Welcome to GT Live. Watching the days go by. Well, yep, just watching as time passes us by as 8-bit classical music plays. And we enter into the nether through the portal. And now we're in the Tesseract. Because Marvel owns everything. Oh, oh wow. Now we're in a... Rorschach Tessellations. Now we're in a get. Wow, we're just, who took the who really took the magic mushrooms in this game? Let's be honest. <laughs> what? what is happening? What is Are the going on in this game? What is happening right now? What, what is this? So, whoa! And, this is so weird. Oh man. This is 2001, right? I love all the references here, but geez, oh, this is like um, oh my gosh, this is an old NES game. Oh, this is uh, sh uh World Runner. Like, oh my gosh, these are all references to like classic NES games. Oh, why can't I think of that one uh, in that 3D perspective? Oh, World? No, there was like a World Runner one that was like that, but there. Harrier, Harrier, Space Harrier, or something like that. Was I dead? That was weird. Was this heaven? It sort of looked like the basement bathroom. <laughs> my, my crazy magic mushroom high wore off, and I suddenly woke up. It was the shoes. The oh, good, I got to move a couple to steps to I the right. I might as well put them on. <gasps> they were just the right size. The old man's hat fit me pretty good as well. Oh no, he's taking I'm on the sure identity of his old master. I wore it. Can I go to the toilet? Amazingly, the shoes allowed me to defy gravity. Or maybe it was the hat. Wait, so the master the entire time could... Oh, this is cool! 
Ah, oh, this is super fun. Makes really strange sense when it comes to nothing is beautiful from every point of view. The world, my world ripped apart. It's weird that my master, who was a human being who just kind of walked around slowly, would have gravity-defying shoes all the time, but okay. Whoa, this is nuts. Okay. Oh, this is like... Oh, this is cool. This is wild! Part oh, super cool. the basement cool. was flooded, and the stairs had collapsed. I didn't know what was going on. But I knew I wanted to get back upstairs. Can I... Ooh, okay, so you can jump between the two. Okay, that's good to know. The gate was locked. I would need a key to open it. Oh, this is super interesting. Okay, so this is so this is why everyone was like, oh, here's all the innovative, like, gameplay ideas. This is wild. Okay. So what's down there? Uh... Oh, it's just avoid this. Okay. That's easy enough. Still not seeing a key or any garbage to collect. Oh, this is wild. Okay, so now I can go this way. Oh, this is super fun. It only took us like 20 centuries of mankind to achieve this status. Uh, okay, so I can drop down like... We only had to go through the entirety of human evolution and classical artwork to get there, but we got there. So, okay, there we go. Boop. Nope. Ooh, hey. How long had I been asleep? Months? Years? I was so Clearly confused. based on that Where trip that you had, gone? You, were, you were gone for a long time, my friend. Oh, can I collect the chandelier? No. Bell, nothing there. Okay. I oh, I can get the teddy bear scared. now. I get it. This was the first time I had been outside on my own. Oh no. <laughs> really? Wow. All right. I am so into this. <laughs> this game is wild. I knew what I this is wild. Do. Okay. This had to be my purpose. I would clean a million things so I could become a real boy. <laughs> Whatever that meant. So. Oh, classic. Ooh, 500 junk. Nice. Classic song. Here. So there's a bunch of bullets on the outside. So are we like in the middle of like gang warfare now or what happened? Like I know I've been gone for a long time, but geez, didn't realize that my giant mansion was in like the bad neighborhood. Okay, anything behind the trees. Oh yeah, gather it up. Awesome575 says so much junk. Right, I mean, Here's the thing, friends, I was, I loved Super Mario Sunshine because, can I get up there? I love Super Mario Sunshine, oh, there it is. I love Super Mario Sunshine because of all the cleaning in it. It was very, like, it was very satisfying to go around and just like, you know, spray, sp basically power wash everything. And so this is kind of satisfying in the same way. It's great. Oh yeah, 5,000 junk, a million junk, here I come. So this became like a war zone based on these like turrets right here? Like the machine yeah. gun turrets? So is this post-apocalypse? I'm very interested in where this story is going right now. <laughs> very curious. All right, so that's locked. Oh boy, bomb craters. What? I said bomb craters. Yeah, it looks like looks like a war zone. Oh, I can go down here. Oh, are there people like literally drowning down here? Is that what they're shouting is? Don't worry, I'll use my shoe device to clean up the the giant broken shit. 
pork sausages. Hey, there's... Is that our our friend, our our butler friend in the background? He's a celebrity now. Huh? Oh yeah. Right, that's him. Oh, there are people in this this house that are dying. The apparently. screaming was coming from one of the bedrooms, but the stairs were blocked by a wall of fire. Fine. Oh, do you think? I was just planning on going here, but that's cool. Anything to clean? I'm really not interested in saving people. I just really want to clean their stuff, honestly. <laughs> Like, let's be honest, I've got a million things. Saving their lives is not going to help me become a real boy. It's all about cleaning up their junk. Yeah, what does it matter when you have infinite lives anyway? Right? Come on. Look at all this junk that's going to be useless here in a second. Let's be honest here. This house is going down. This is, this is junk. People this is TBD junk. Be, <laughs> man, a woman, and their children. They were confused and terrified. At first, or the man moderately neutral. Ready to fight me, but after I convinced them that I was there to help, he calmed Do down. not mind me. There was no way I, I am but a sentient once, robot. So the children went first. Oh no! Oh, come on, small children. What's over here? Any more junk to clean? No, okay, Save the video game, Horace. Save the video game system. That's classic. That's retro. <laughs> I dropped the children off at the front door and promised them that I would be back with their parents. Oh man, if these parents die, that'll be a real bummer. Are you kidding me? Go, enter. Why did I have to click resume? That was weird. It's like, are you sure you want to save them? Oh, I get it. The house is crumbling. Programmer X1 says they don't look very terrified. No, nah, they're, they're just kind of hanging out. The fire was you know. getting much worse, so the woman went next. Oh man, just hop out the window. You have a really short house, my buddy, my bro. Your house is not is not all that tall. It's like two stories. I think you can make it. Like, really. <laughs> you might break an ankle or something, but just stand in there. At when the very the least... Front door, all the woman said was, Thank you. Please hurry. Great. At the This time I didn't get a choice. At the very least, get low to the ground, my friend. Like, the smoke inhalation you're putting your body through is has got to be terrible at this point, right? Like, I am very concerned about your health and well-being, my friend. Where are you at, Home Slice? Oh, there you go. I managed to get back. Oh. The man was unconscious. Yeah, because you were standing there inhaling the smoke. As I could tell, the house was going to collapse at any moment. Okay. Yep, I would like to resume the game. Man, my arm strength must be amazing, because remember, I'm carrying this man above my head, upside down. So, like, all his weight is literally, like, I have gravity shoes, but he is not really. Yeah, you are welded together tightly. Oh, no, I didn't escape. I'm assuming that's supposed to happen. Otherwise, there was an invisible timer that I did not see and greatly lost to. Game over. Game over. Hey, at the very least, this will add to my jump total. <gasps> I was relatively useless in this process because he survived anyway. <laughs> I helped the family set up a tent so they had somewhere to stay. It's pretty the quick. The kids were cut. excited as they got to camp <laughs> outside. You know, life comes at you fast. They had just lost <laughs> their home. When I mentioned my quest to clean a million things, the man said I should look through the rubble of the house oh, I'm... as they had no use for it. So Told ya. when everyone was making dinner, I looked through the wreckage. There wasn't anything I could clean. Oh BS, get out of here. Astonishment, I found a TV set and a games console. Which was totally the fine. Thing, I was able to get them to work. So I sat playing games with the kids until their parents said it was bedtime. <laughs> okay, sure. As we talked, the man opened a bottle of wine. Oh, man. I asked what had happened. Why was everything so ruined? Fire does that to The man to you. looked at the woman, then the woman sighed and said, 
There was a war. Yes, a war, said the man. <laughs> One side of the planet attacked the other, and before we knew, it was all over. Everything gone. Everything destroyed. Nearly dead medium. Well, it's late, said the woman. Is war we against the robots? Really get some sleep. No, he said it's two to halves of the world versus each other. We'll see you uh. tomorrow. In the morning, I asked the man if he knew what had caused the fire that had destroyed their house. The man smiled, crap old house, bad wiring, <laughs> constant electrical surges from the unreliable power plant. Take your pick. Wow. He said, no. if we had the money, we'd move to the mainland. It has nothing to do but with that, uh, that little boy in the background, huh? Let alone buy a new house. So for now, we're left here with the rest of the scum. But he did wow. say I should head Didn't to think the highly of your neighbors, huh? There would be plenty there for me to clean and a better quality of rubbish. <laughs> what? The Don't you think me living in the slums? The war, my lovely wife used to be a fisherman. Fisherwoman? Fishing person? I used to catch fish, interrupted the woman, and seeing as you this saved us all game from is the fire wild. end, oh maybe God. you would like to borrow my boat to get to the mainland. I was a little scared, but then they gave me some captain software, and I was an old salty sea dog within minutes. Wow, that was super convenient and helpful. Uh, I'm not ready for this yet. There's still more things for me to clean over here. Stinggamer003 says, oh, I love this game. Okay, so still still not immune to the water, which is a bummer, because I, I really want that boat piece. To, I'm really excited about cleaning out that boat piece, man. I'm assuming we'll just have to come back at some point. Is there more? I more. love the Naruto run combined with hat holding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's the only thing that can make the Naruto run that much better, that much cooler? Hat holding. Holding your bowler hat. <laughs> your fedora. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me that garbage. Yes, let me slowly step over all of this. Mario Sunshine, eat your heart out. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I'm, I'm going to be a real boy before you know it. Whatever that means. I think by, I bet by the end of the game he realizes that that is, wasn't what it took all along. That he was a real boy. He was more real than he knew. I bet it's something like that. That's my prediction. I was surprised to see an old man. Oh, let's see who else I can help. not as surprised as he was. It turned out he was blind. He was kneeling on the floor with his hand in a drain. When I asked him what he was doing, he said his cat had crawled into the pipes and he was trying to get her out. He was very happy when I offered to help. He said there was no way we could reach her from here, so if I was willing, I could make my way through the sewers and get her from the other end. Great. He said he would turn off the water for as long as possible, but I would have to run as the pipes would... I'll turn off the water for as long as possible, I but I do have a very so active he a bowel. He said so, <laughs> you know, the sewer gates. we can only we last for a limited amount of time. And through the big door at the bottom. Oh man, clean up that that trash over there. That saxophone, you don't need that. It's garbage, right? I notice, Horace, that you're not separating. You're not separating out the recyclables. I don't know how I feel about this. Thought you were trying to make the world a better place. Here we go. Yeah, get in that sewer. Wow, it is. It is unbelievably dark. I better run. Oh jeez. No, I need that. I need that trash. Oh, there, there's okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Get that garbage. Yes. Okay. Woo, go. Okay. Holy. Ge oh jeez. Okay. Now we. Now we're getting somewhere. Here, here it is. Okay. Okay. Here. Here. Now I should be running. Yeah. This way. This way. Ooh, okay. That's wild. Oh, hey. 
Faked me out there, game. I see, I see. You're changing the rules, changing the rules up a little bit, huh? I wonder if I just like. Nope, nope, no. Nope. You, ah, damn it. You have to like pause on the trash for a little bit, and like bigger items require like more time. No, can't leave. No trash left behind. How am I ever gonna reach my million mark? There it is. All right, that's everything. Ugh. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm totally fine. Got, got infinite lives. There we go. Okay. Ooh, nice big gears. That's worth a lot of garbage. Yes! Clear that junk! Oh, come on! Great, I'll take it. It's fine. Nope. Hmm. Oh, this is just a jump. Bada bing. I don't like cleaning out garbage while I'm supposed to be rushing. Maybe the sewers were meant to be dirty. Here we go. Jump, jump, jump. Woo. Woo. Okay. Nope. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hello. No! Get the bicycle! <laughs> Get the bicycle! See? You have to, like, for the bigger items, you have to kind of, like, linger on them for a little bit. Ruby Folsom says, no train left behind. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because <laughs> I'm assuming the million... The million number is probably, like, the old all the items jacked. in the game, right? She was fine. If a little confused. I was horrified. It looked like me. What? But it shambled around like something from the film we watched on Halloween. Excuse me? Oh, we've suddenly found my counterpart. Can I hop on it? Apparently not. That is... That is not the way to solve this problem here. Hey, buddy. I'm just, I'm just avoiding you. Okay. Great. Cool story. So I have clones. Fair enough. That are not dressed nearly as dapper as I am. Right. Is this where I started? I think so. The man was happy to have his cat back. He looked so content with her sat on his lap. I told him about the thing I saw, but he just laughed and said, Those bastard robots. <laughs> They're always getting up through the pipes. <laughs> ah, NBD. It's fine. Don't worry. Though. Evil robots it in the sewers. The, the, the huge. Doors. If I had my way, we'd have blown up the lot of them when we had the chance. Oh! I wasn't sure what he meant, but I decided now wouldn't be the best time to tell him I was a robot. They're actually just reenacting young Frankenstein. He reaches out. He's like, I'd like to feel you. I know who I'd like you to are. thank the person and who saved me. that he knew the old man. Also, maybe your voice might have tipped him off there, Horace. Yeah. How can I help you, sir, chatted, blind man? Himself some tea. Oh, that's totally a normal human way of talking. It's he totally fine. He for the old man. <laughs> He'll never fact, suspect he anything. In one of the old man's factories. Strangely, he smiled at this thought. He always did me right, he said. When I had my accident, the old man said he would look after me. And he did. He always made sure I had enough money, and he let me move into this old pumping station on his land. Which reminds me, I have something here for you. He rummaged around behind the cupboard. Then he continued saying, the old man wanted you to have this when you were old enough. What? But fate Wait, so he knew it. it was me the whole time? He passed oh. me a large box. It was empty. I thought about pretending to be excited, but the man said, wait a minute. It's empty, isn't it? He slumped back in his chair. I was robbed a few months ago. He said, almost in a whisper. It's strange, they took practically anything metal, but left loads of food and a brand new saxophone. The man looked sad, so I thought I would try to change the subject. I told him about my quest to clean a million things. This at least made him smile. Like, he said I was welcome to go back said, through the pipes stupid. anytime I wanted, as there were loads of old things in there that could be cleaned away. I tried to get them all while I was down there, honestly. I tried to I tried to make it a very efficient trip, but I didn't get... 
junk here, junk held, hold up. Here, let's let's just double check before we move on, because the last thing I want is to like have to like come back here. Ooh, there's still 116 junk here. This is unacceptable. Where is that? Where's this junk? That's not junk, is it? No, it is not. It isn't. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. Huh, that's weird. I didn't see anything. Maybe we do have to come back later. Oh, I have to do it again. I have to do the whole thing again? Come on, let me escape. It's fine. I mean, it's not as bad when you don't have to worry about the junk stuff. Uh, this is up and down. Is this still 116? No, this is a different... So that, like, fast section has to be its own thing. That's good to know. 174 in this one. There must be something I'm missing. Oh, there must be something I'm missing. Like, maybe there's a power-up that allows you to... Oh, there must be a power-up that allows you to, like, go in water. Since there's that ship that I have to heal, like I have to clean up at some point. So maybe that's just down the line. And I can't do it right now. There we go. And these guys, there's three junk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing a whole heck of a lot. Alright. Fair enough. Strange. Well, I tried. No, no! <laughs> I was trying to talk to the man again to see if there was anything else. Apparently not. Okay. No, I don't even get a saxophone solo? Come on. I was so I was so expecting a little like private performance or something. To like celebrate getting his cat back. Oh, look at this junk combo that's going on right now. Yes! Cleaning up the world. One trash can at a time. Oh, there's the old man's car. Let me just put it in my shoe. <laughs> since apparently that's what I do with garbage in this game. Just throw it in my shoe, you know. Okay. Great. Yes. I like all these riffs on classic video game soundtracks. The music is great. This is on Steam, right, Chris? Yes. Okay. Can I play basketball? I'm assuming this is setting me up for a mini game at some the point. The gate was locked. I would need a key to open it. Yep. Really? Okay. Right. Well, I've got such mad ups. Let me show off my basketball skills. Norman in the chat says, My theory is that when the old man made the robot and it started doing all these good things, everyone thought they could be used for good, but something went wrong and they turned on the humans. I believe that. That's like the classic age-old story. It is, but I don't, I don't actually think that's the case, because in the beginning of the game, the investors appear to be wanting war machines, because they call him a, like, potential the... killbot. But they're maybe all born out of him. Like, his technology is what enabled the... Whoa! That was cool. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so... I didn't even think about that. So if we do this, what would we have to do here? So if we did this, right? Now. What? So I can get to presumably certain platforms I wasn't able to before. If we just like use. Oh, wow. oh that's wild. Okay. Wow. So this works. Yeah! Look at me getting extra garbage! So that allows me to get, like, in, in a 
lot of different places now. Like, you can fly off into, like, infinity. <laughs> Oh, this is nuts. Okay. The whole time I was I was expecting like, oh, at some point they're going to give me like a double jump or something, but I guess you don't really need it when you literally are kind of like adjusting gravity around you. So now you can just like, woo, hop off here. <laughs> really? <laughs> I just enter into the planet's orbit. That's funny. Oh, that's wild. Okay. That's really cool. That makes world exploration crazy. It also makes hiding the junk and getting to the junk, like, pretty ridiculous. <laughs> or at least it can be. I can't imagine that they are actually expecting you to, like, utilize that can't regularly. Okay, I can get here now. That's pretty wild though. In case you one. Don't see something like that too often. Cool. Apple clear! Oh, it's surfing! Ooh, hey. So I'm not allowed to hop this guy. But I feel like it's normal. It seems like I need to hop across this to put it together. Oh, suck it up! Suck it up, man! Get up! Yeah, I bet like hopping on their head is gonna end up being a power up or something. Or something. I'm gonna need it. Oh. How this game is from a like streaming stand. Oh, I get it. Oh, cool! So this is the first instance of you having to like really start using this stuff. Nope, that's not gonna do it. Ugh! For everyone in the chat who says it started to lag, who I know, and I'm working on it. Started to lag, Chris. What are you doing? What are you doing, Chris? Well, you know how towards the end of the stream, I like to set up about ten different devices back here and connect them all I to the internet to at guess. the same time. The electricity was going haywire in some places. Why'd you do that, Chris? You know that. <laughs> So apparently I can't activate these things yet, which is kind of a bummer because I'm here and I want to use them. I'm here. Let me use them. But I cannot so sadly. Uh, oh wait, might as well finish off because that leads me to a different exit. Right here. And boop. leads me back to the house. I really want to get that teddy bear, man. Is this going to lead me close to the teddy bear? No, this just leads me back to the house. Where'd that teddy bear go? I want to achieve my teddy bear after all these years of waiting to remember my master's memories. Achieve my teddy bear. Right? Who doesn't want to achieve a teddy bear? Shoot. I'm like hesitant to leave because... It should be around here somewhere, right? You would think. And yet, like, I can't seem to find it anywhere, so maybe I have to just move on with the story for now. Sorry, just one last pass before I hop aboard the ship and into what I presume is the next chapter. Maybe I just have to wait for a different, uh, different point in the game. guy and his cat. I gotta find my secret gloves that were stolen. All sorts of things. Yeah, here's the thing. I don't know <laughs> exactly how good this is as a streaming game. Like, as far as from, like, a watch experience. I think the mechanics are cool and stuff. But, uh, you know, as a personal game that's doing cool stuff with, like, puzzles, I like it. It's very satisfying and it's, it's nice and calming, too. It is really cool. The fisherman right? was right. Everything was in pieces. Ooh, hey! Everything had been destroyed. Oh no, the war! 
I dock the boat in some ruins. They must have once been a town. Huh. Don't worry, you're in the you're leaving the slums. There's not a whole lot of junk to clean up in the slums. Go to the mainland. Now that's where it's at. I like that the slums are like the most put together place. Uh is this dry land or is this just a bunch of Oh yeah, clean that up. Okay, I can okay, that's the roof. There we go. Woo! Yes! Twenty thousand junk, Chris. Wow. I'm the junk master. Fear me. Viceroy junk. <laughs> Viceroy. You know, I feel of all the classical titles, Viceroy was always a really cool one. Like it's it has a cool sound and no one really knows what you are either. What do you mean? You're like it's like a governorship. You're like a vice <coughs> king. Yeah, is that what a viceroy is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it comes from from like Spanish. <coughs> isn't isn't like Ray or Roy or something king in Spanish and royalty and all that? Not I, I it's mean, like you're not royalty, but you're a viceroy. You're like kind is that of really? Royalty. I, I guess I've never thought about it that way, but I mean that would intuitively make sense. Yeah, I've never. I don't know that for a fact. I'm just working with. What, you're with working the with the context clues. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Use that criti Use those critical thinking skills, there, buddy. <laughs> All right. So now we're here. Got to jump over here. Yeah. This, so this is now where, it, like, it, it becomes a lot of. Yes, it's platforming, but it's also just like really interesting, cool puzzle solving in a lot of cases. Like, I just think the idea of trying to solve where you need to be flipping the world and like where your platforms are and where you need to use gravity is really awesome. Oh, fat old dog. Don't fat shame me. the dog. He looks totally normal. Suddenly, three men appeared holding large guns. Hey! Or at least two men and what looked to be a pregnant woman. Whoa. Incredibly, it was Mr. Silver. I knew it! I thought you'd been shut down, he said. I mean, it's been years. I'm not really sure what happened, I replied. I then told him about me cleaning a million things. He laughed and said, nothing changes. But everything changes. He then showed me into what was surprisingly a really nice house. Yeah, except you're thieves. Did you Please steal from the blind man? My husband, said the pregnant lady. Oh man, they're against I the Illuminati. Me, but everyone calls me Eddie. Illuminati confirmed in Horus the game. And that's Preston. We've met, said the small man. It was me that delivered that thing, remember? All you used to deliver was weed. Mumbled Mr. Silton as he put the dog dish on the floor. And I was there that night when this twat was off his face on mushrooms. Thanks for letting me and the dog stay, by the way. Yeah, well, we like the dog, said Mrs. Silton. <laughs> but I suppose I got, got him to burned, for this meeting. What were you giving Barry? Oh. Uh oh. Those dodgy mad. Oh, I can pause. I just I, I can pause it using the little pulled out an old triggers at the top of the controller. It was one that Heather had taken the night I had saved Mr. Silton. Smile and say, magic mushrooms. Ha <laughs> ha Remember that time you almost jumped off the roof? <laughs> yeah. Let's take a picture to commemorate the experience. It reminded me of everyone else, so I asked what had happened to them. Mr. Silton said Alice had a small place in the countryside. Great. The professor had holed up in one of the old man's factories. Oh man, are these old Mr. Places Deck to go? was, believe it or not, now a presenter on the only state television channel. <laughs> and Heather and her mother lived on a government compound where they both worked. I asked about the old man, surprised that Mr. Silton hadn't mentioned him. He's... he's dead, said Mr. Silton. Sorry, I thought you knew. Oh no, he's gonna shut down again. Anyway, Don't do it! said Mr. Preston. I thought you said that robot thing found the mushrooms for you in that orders manky old barn. <laughs> Mr. Silton looked embarrassed. Well, said Mrs. Silton, 
I guess we've got you to thank for getting us together then. <laughs> Time for bed, I think. Hallucinogenic so drugs. Make yourself <laughs> Bringing comfy, families we'll together. See you in the <laughs> Truly, the family that hallucinates together stays together. Or rips each other apart in frantic, hallucinogenic, nightmarish dreams. Whoa! Oh, here we go. Apparently they gave... Speaking of. Right? Speaking of! Come fly with me. Come fly, let's fly away. Woo! Woo! I'm coming. Look, I'm, uh, yes, I'm flying. Here we go. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it might be... It might be time to end the stream soon after this flying sequence. I figure this feels like a, a pretty good like transitional point, honestly. Coming, coming, coming at ya. Oh no! 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 Come back to me, Mr. Silden! Uh, sorry, the old man. Silden's the driver. Come back to me, old man! No! Oh, here we go. Chapter 4. How many chapters are in this thing, Chris? Do you know? A lot, I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot? Like, over ten. Day, I thought it might be, oh, it might be ten. Because okay. the they get longer. Alright, here, it's all. Everyone. What time is it? It is 5.29. Yeah, I should probably get going. Okay. So, anyway, that is Horus. Like I said, it's, a, it's an interesting game. I'm excited about the gameplay elements in it. I wish... I got to have a little bit more of them, um, but what's there? Like, you can already start to see really cool elements to the puzzles uh, and where this has the potential to go with, like, some of the, like, hey, if I change gravity in this way, I can jump, like, halfway across the map and land on this thing that I couldn't reach before. Like, that's really cool. I haven't played many games that have that sort of mechanic. Um, very clearly, they're very invested in the story of the game, so I'm curious where they're going with it. Uh, it's a lot of story. Like I said, it kind of makes it feel like a Hideo Kojima or like a Metal Gear Solid game where you like move between two rooms and then suddenly you're hit with like a 10 minute codex entry. Um, but I, I appreciate that they're like building out the characters and fleshing out the world of the story. And I'm curious what they're saying with it. Like Chris said, there's existential dread, people dying, you know, the huge. Um, cleaning a million things, that's intense. Uh, definitely a completionist's nightmare, it sounds like. But we'll see. <laughs> I'm assuming over the course of the game, you kind of just like come across all that stuff because it feels like an important part of the, the thesis of the game. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you thought. I'm curious. Like I said, we're kind of in a transition period where, you know, we just finished kindergarten and that was a big game for us. So let us know what games you'd like to see us play. Things that we could pick up, things that you'd like to see us try. If you want to see us continue with this, even if we don't com complete it on stream, I, you know, I can see myself playing this just personally because I, I like these sorts of, like, interesting platformer mechanics. Um, so, yeah, let us know. I'm curious. Uh, but since uh, Stephanie is out of town, that means I am solo daddy uh, for the rest of the weekend. So I need to make sure that I'm home and ready for Oliver. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, no stream tomorrow, uh, just because it's a, it's a shorter day and I gotta do work. And like I said, solo daddy time with Ollie. Um, so Steph and I both will be back on Monday, four o'clock PM Pacific time. If you haven't seen it, there was a new film theory that was uploaded today on SpongeBob SquarePants, which I really like. I think it's on a really interesting topic. It was fun to research. Uh, and there's gonna be a new game theory coming up this weekend on either Saturday or Sunday. Uh, it's probably going to be Sunday based on how, uh, how much we have to edit for it. So keep an eye out for both of those. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. And in the meantime, remember, that's just a stream. A live stream. Chris, say goodbye in the chat. Melina Kiss says, loved the game. Thanks, that's good to hear. Cool Ninja right? cool. said, this game, which I guess means the same. Continue thing. this game. All um, aboard. And Tara Lane says, bye, Matt Pat. Well, bye, Tara Lane.